All right, YouTube. So the spring semester has concluded here at BGSU. Here in the spring of 2022 is April 30th, a Saturday. Um, although move out for me will be tomorrow, as in like I actually leave leave. Today is going to be kind of like packing things, checking rooms, being an RA, really kind of just clean the room out today. Uh, tonight, I want to have a great dinner, some fun with my friends, the staff, game night, tomorrow, lunch, you know, say my goodbyes, other stuff. It's going to be really busy tonight, tomorrow. So why not do the videos now, the other work now? Um, so... As you guys know, you know, if you're not watching the video, it's the name of my YouTube. I'm Matt Kennedy. Uh, this is my third year here at BGSU completed. Uh, we have one year left already. Time flies. I think really COVID-19 kind of made it go a little bit quicker than normal. Um, but the last two years, man, we were here in person. Um, last year... Uh, we had fall of 2020, spring of 21. Now we have uh, fall of 21 and spring of 22. We were here uh, all four semesters. Uh, yes, we had masks for the most part up until last month. They were finally moved the mask mandate. Um, but we were here for a full two years here at McDonald Hall. Um, at least I was being an RA, which is a job where pretty much I look after residents and other stuff. So it's it's pretty good job, you know. Not gonna lie, uh, really glad I was an RA. Essentially, like I said, I'm a, you know, if roommates have any issues, conflicts, um, I gotta work the front desk of the uh, of the residence hall. Um, other stuff for the RA job, pretty much it'll give you a free room, so free living. You eat your own room, which is very spacious and you know pretty awesome. Free food, and then also you get um, a six hundred dollars stipend for the year. Pretty good for a student job. Uh, not to mention how expensive college is. You save on food. You save on living. I did it for two years, four semesters saved. I pretty much just paid tuition, which is it is what it is. Uh, really nice job in my opinion. Really glad to be here. Yes, the room still is a little bit messy, but I feel like if I'm gonna do a move out video. I'd rather have me still pack, like, I'd rather have the process of me packing than it be just empty. So, it has started. I start putting these in some boxes, all that stuff. It looks kind of messy. Really, it's not. It's just a bunch of small stuff that just goes in, like, boxes and stuff. And then, really, I'm worried about my clothes. I have my dress shirts and my uh, coats, jackets over there. And then over there, I have a lot of my long sleeve and short sleeve shirts. Um, pants and shorts are in there and socks and underwear, all that stuff. But yeah, no, I mean, honestly, it's, this is kind of what it is. You know, I don't know if you're going to watch this video years from now, months from now, whatever. But um, as long as YouTube's still up years from now, we'll look back at this video and really see what McDonald Hall was about here in 2022. Um, I'm going to try to upload some clips and do a little montage of being an RA the last two years. Um, probably more photos and videos, but I'm probably not going to get all the people I met, all the experiences I've had. Uh, that's way too hard in two years. But I, I, I really think a big thing of being an RA um, here in McDonald Hall is I work where I live. So this is like an empty room where what, some of my residents live down the hall and all that stuff. Uh, but I was here at the second floor, uh, green hallway here at McDonald Hall. Still no AC in the room. But, yeah, I mean, I you know, I really think just, like, working where I live, it just created so many memories for me. Um, so this is kind of it, man. I mean, I'm not really sure how much it could, it could really change years from now. I, I really feel like they might knock it down years from now. But... I don't really see him getting rid of Mac Hall anytime soon, even though this building is fairly old. Um, but no, I mean, this is like a double. I did make some videos last year. So, and this year, it's really hard to believe. The last video I made was eight and a half months ago, guys. Um, it's really, really hard to believe. Uh, I moved in August 7th this year. I remember it like it was yesterday. Went to Olive Garden with some friends. 
and moved in, you know, had the box, had everything, you know, moving in and now we're moving out. So it's, it really does go quick. Um, and now it's just a matter of getting all my stuff, putting in boxes, uh, defrosting my fridge there, all our stuff. Um, but yeah, man, uh, PS5s in there, other stuff. Uh, and without further ado, I want to make some closing remarks. All right, so I know the lighting's not that great in here, but honestly, guys, it's been a pleasure being an RA here at McDonald Hall at BGSU the last two years. Um, I think with being a future teacher, I didn't say that in my video yet, but I am being a future math teacher. Uh, next year is my student teaching year, so I will not be able to really have a full-time job on top of a job. Um, student teaching is literally an internship full-time, but you're a student as a teacher um, for a whole semester. So I really won't have that much time to work. Um, but yeah, three years done of college, that's really the bigger thing for me to process. Um, because I only have one year left, which sounds like a lot, but it will probably go quick. Um, speaking of, I still remember... You know, coming into this year, uh, fall of 21, and um, one of my good friends, Jay, who I met uh, being an RA here last year at McDonald Hall, he was going to uh, France uh, this past semester uh, in the fall for studying abroad. And I just remember thinking like, wow, the stats going to kind of change this year because Jay's leaving, Saeed's leaving, Saeed was a good friend last year, and I, I just remember, like, it doesn't feel like eight, nine months ago coming in here, and I just remember telling myself, like, the staff's gonna change a bit, you know, I got new bosses this year, um, I'm living in a new room this year, last year's in the fourth floor, now I'm on the second floor, like, I just remember coming into this year, like, what am I gonna expect, you know, it's my second year of being an RA. I'm now like a veteran. Not really though. It's my second year, you know. Um, but I had a whole year done going into my second year and now it's already over. And it's, it was a great year. Um, honestly, I just got to say like a big reason why I enjoyed it so much was, was because just, you know, you think RA, it's a job, you know, how can you really make it? you know, anything more than just work, duty, whatever. When you have a good staff, good boss, you know, um, good people above you, um, your, uh, what do they call it, supervisors, Cole and Josh, you know, like you really think about it, that's really what dictates your experience. It's the staff, it's the people that even I was in charge of. Um, I didn't even look at it like I was in charge of them. They're, you know, they're my residents. You know, I wasn't really in charge of them. I was just there for, to help them out. Um, and honestly, it's it's just been a blast um, being not only an RA, but an RA in McDonald Hall. Um, I honestly really feel like it's, it just would have been way different in my life if, first of all, I would have never even got the job. I mean, I still remember, if you want to go all the way back, I, I, I even remember almost two years ago. August of 2020, I, I remember coming into, like, I literally remember grabbing my box and moving it in and just telling myself, we might not even be here. We might get shut down um, because we came in the fall of 2020 and we got shut down in the spring of 2020. We got shut down and vaccines weren't even out yet until the spring of 21 and we were notified there was a possibility we could be shut down and just now looking back now knowing we were here for four whole semesters these last four semesters and I worked all four semesters in person yes we had protocols yes we had masks for most of the time but just thinking about that like it, it, it just doesn't feel like two years um but I definitely will say having great staff members, people I can honestly say that are my friends, it has been honestly just an amazing experience to work alongside my staff 
and like I said, the bosses I had, I feel like when you honestly are working at a job where it doesn't really feel like a job, that's kind of how you want life to be. Um, with me being a future teacher, yes, I will grade papers. Yes, I will be there. Probably there'll be days I won't get much sleep, whatever. But in the grand scheme, the overall picture, if you honestly feel like I love my job, you know, it's going to be sad to leave. That's when you know I think you won life. And I'm, you know, I'm not saying I won life right now because this is just, you know, a student job being a college student. But when you grow up and you finally get that first job job, like full time job professional, me being a teacher, maybe you're a businessman, maybe you're a pilot, whatever. And you really tell yourself, I love this job. I feel like that's really when you win life. Because to be honest, there's more to life than work. And I understand that. But at the same point, what we do for our careers is still a big part of our life. We're almost there like, what, one third of the day, eight hours a day, or 24 hours in a day. Well, you sleep a third. Hopefully, if you get eight hours, you'll work a third, and then the other third is really yours. But it's like work is a big part of us. You know, it's what we do as human beings. And having this job, it was just an amazing experience. Um, and honestly, on a party note, I got to say, I did win this award right here. Um, 2021, 2022, Office of Residence Life, Outstanding Personal Growth and Priority Award. Um, what I'll say on a party note to that is I love to learn. Um, I think a big thing about me is I'm not a perfect person. You know, I make so many mistakes in my life. I do things that I regret. I just sometimes I'm not the, you know, the, uh, what do they call it? The smartest apple in the bunch, whatever. But the one thing I'll say is I do learn and I do reflect in my life and I think my bosses, my fellow staff members, um, when they nominate me for that award, they kind of realize that, you know, they kind of know that is I love to learn. I love to reflect. Um, a big saying that we say in, in the uh, education community is learning is a lifelong endeavor. And honestly, yes, I understand, like I said before, about a minute ago, no one's perfect. You know, we all make mistakes. We all, you know, maybe do things that maybe weren't smart, but at the end of the day, you know, maybe we could be more professional, you know, maybe we could handle, you know, being an RA, you know, maybe I addressed a problem wrong or something. It's getting it better for the next time. And I think honestly, especially being a teacher, there's going to be ways I can explain problems better. There's going to be ways I can address conduct better. Um, I really, honestly, will, I will always, always believe this, you know, in this world, I think there's three aspects to life. We have fun, we experience things. We then learn, and we, we learn about what we experienced. And the last part is we reflect on what we learned and what our experiences were. And I think the one thing that I will always hold true in this world is I am so glad that I have this YouTube channel because I will look back years from now and watch these videos as long as YouTube's still up and running, isn't go bankrupt somehow. It, it won't. It's made by Google, all that stuff. Um, um, but it's just seeing these videos will make me laugh one day. You know, they'll make me, it's memories. You know, it's an experience. Um, and just being an RA, honestly, I didn't even know where I'd be placed. Um, I didn't even know if I get the job or not. I got the job. I got here at McDonald Hall two years ago. I interviewed for the job. And little did I know what a great impact it would make in my life. Um, and that, that, that really is the truth. You know, yes, it, yes, you know, it's a job. But at the end of the day, like I said, you know, five times in this video already, and I keep repeating myself, but it, it's, it's really what the job did contextually. Um, so thank you for everyone I met, my residents, fellow staff members watching the video, friends, family, everyone. Um, honestly, it's been a blast, but now it's time for my fourth year of college. I'm ready to move on. Um, 
And like I said, watch out for a montage um, video for some fun memories and photos I got from me and RA. Um, without further ado, I'm excited for the summer. Uh, one thing being a teacher I'll say is all my summer's off. Uh, maybe not 100% off, but it is a nice break. I might not be off, but it's a break. And it's well-deserved. Um, it's tough, man. I'm not saying it's rocket science, but I will say college is tough. At least if you want to get good grades. You might be able to escape out with C's and just coast, but you should be pushing yourself to learn. Um, um, as evident by you learn, you reflect. And that's the last thing I'll say is... College is what you make of it. And I really can honestly say the whole college experience thing, while though I probably could have got drunk more, probably could have partied more, whatever, I honestly feel like I really have experienced a lot here. I have met a lot of people, like I said, I have done so much with it. And honestly, what I'll always tell people as well, being a future teacher, seeing those students go to college is I'll always say things like, guys, when you go to college, this is it. This is your plus or minus four years to learn your profession. And while I can honestly say I'm not a hundred percent ready to go student teach, while I can say that I'm not a hundred percent ready to go teach and be a full-time math teacher, I will say this. I honestly feel like I have learned a lot in the last three years being a teacher. Um, there's things I didn't see before. There's a lot about lesson planning I learned. And honestly, it's the same way with this job. You know, being an RA, it's an experience. You know, you deal with residents, conflicts, other stuff. It's going to help me in my profession being a future teacher. Um, and... I just learned so much more about diversity, inclusion. Um, I learned so much about just in general people, things that I would have not learned and people I met before if I didn't have this job. So it's just like, it's the takeaways, the reflection, um, looking back in retrospect. Um, and so college, you learn what you learn. And I honestly feel like you learn what you you really learn what you want to learn in this world. You want to learn it, you can learn it. And I really just feel like when you leave college, like, that's kind of it. Like, there's no more school. So what you learn and the experiences you hold is what you get. Um, so again, thanks for all the memories, BGSU. Um, it's not over yet, I've got one more year, but this is it for the res halls and the RA experience. Uh, we're going to go from there. Uh, take care and have a good summer.